Good evening, my fellow revolutionaries. This is the flaming sword of the revolution. And to still align from NYTN, my brother Kevin Oliver, I'm bringing you the facts from the Cadillac. And this, this is my first time actually doing a video. So if I'm off, uh, I stutter a little bit, please forgive me and watch the content, okay? Um, what I'm going to be doing is driving down one of the main streets here in Cincinnati and I'm gonna go and just count the number of churches that I pass I'm gonna see how close they are and we're gonna total the numbers uh, before we take off I'm gonna reset this odometer and get that reset it back to zero and I'm about to take off and our first church that we have is right here on the right so what we're doing with driving we're gonna see how many churches we have and how close they actually are to each other so that is church number one ladies and gentlemen now I'm coming to you from my beautiful city Cincinnati Ohio home of the Bengals who they I'm a die-hard fan, ride or die. Okay, so that was one church. Now this is the main, one of the main strips. Uh, it's called Compton Road. So we're gonna go up and down Compton. We're gonna have to pass this a couple times. So as we turn down Compton, and we just, I just want to see how many because I've noticed these churches, but I've never actually counted the number of them or seeing how close they were together. So that was church number one. And I know there's another church up here on the right coming up here pretty soon. And why so many churches? That is the question. Why? Do we have so many churches are they effective in what they're doing are they affecting anyone's life for the positive or are they just there we're gonna see we stopped here at a red light and now it's green So as we continue to drive down Compton Road, a street that I drive down a lot, here is church number two on the right. So we have two churches that close and we haven't even driven a mile yet. Seven tenths. And I apologize for the sun glare. But I was out running some errands and I wanted to check on this to see. Now we have a couple of churches coming up here, one on the left and one on the right. And coming up first is this one on the left. This is a mini mega church. A mini mega church, church number three. Church number three. And here on the right is another church. And it's not so big. Church number four. So we're going to turn around here real quick. And again, I apologize for the sun glare. And we've only driven 1.2 miles. So we've had four churches in 1.2 miles. So as we drive back down Compton Road, no more sun glare, thank God. Um, I just want you guys to think about it. Why do we have so many churches? What is the point? Is it because we can't get along in churches? Um, and I haven't even documented the denomination of these churches. I'm just amazed at the sheer number of churches so we're going back down Compton 
and as soon as we cross another one of the main streets we're going to hit an intersection that has three churches right next to each other as a matter of fact they are on the same intersection and again I apologize for the pauses and maybe my lack of word smithiness if I could use that word and this is my very first video but I wrote a piece on Pimp Preacher called The Powerless Church and these videos should be right under there this is part one of a three-part series so again I apologize but I had to get this done I had to do it trying to follow in the footsteps of my big brother NYTN so Cincinnati technically is kinda small if you just go by the city limits it's not that big now what we do have is a bunch of if I can use this term urban suburbs and yes urban suburbs they are suburbs of Cincinnati but they are still considered the inner city and not all of them are good now for those who don't know Cincinnati is broken up into a whole lot of communities and each community has their own zip code and sometimes you can't tell where one community starts and the other community ends so we're almost done I don't know if you can see uh, that tan brick building on the right that is one church so that would make let me get my count right one two three four churches and as we're coming up here to this intersection there are three more churches so that's four this is church number five here and directly across the street church number six here and across the street here is church number seven and we've driven 2.4 miles so seven churches in 2.4 miles now that was on the same intersection so why do we need three churches on the same intersection all different denominations the only thing they're doing on Sundays is taking up parking spaces from the people who live in this community seven churches 2.4 miles and here is church number eight on the right here eight churches eight churches 2.9 miles okay this is video number one video number two will be coming up here shortly eight churches less than three miles and we are coming up here on the left I'm gonna drive to their parking lot church number nine here is church number nine here on the right we got people out here working paid That is church number nine. Okay, that's their parking lot. Now, directly across the street from church number nine we have another church. Surprise! Church number ten. That is ten churches. Ten churches and surprise directly across the street from church number 10 is church number 11 
Church number 11. 3.5 miles. Church number 11. I'm going to sign off here now. And um, I hope you've kept count. 11 churches. 3.5 miles. What is it changing? The flaming sword. Bringing you the facts. From the Cadillac.